Hello, and welcome back to the Mary Tyler Moore, where today we have a very special episode. Finally, Malolatan is getting a downtown. It has taken me a very long time to finally get around to focusing on building out downtown Malolatan. This is for a number of reasons, mostly owing to the fact that I have such high hopes for it and have had a vision of it in my mind for so long, I'm talking weeks, months now, that I've known what I want Malolatan to be, how I want it to feel, how I want it to look, how I want it to act, how I want it to grow out, the density, the materials, the overall look and feel. I've had all this stored away in my brain and I've been too worried about not making it look right the way that I think it should look. So I haven't been getting to it, but I finally acquired all the assets I thought I'd need and I put it all together and here today I am to show you finally building out downtown Malolatan brick by brick here in the very Mary Tyler Moore. Thank you so much again for joining me for another episode here. Uh, this one I'm so very happy about because it was really fun making it. I, it was really fun to see this part of the city grow up the way that it did. And the atmosphere of it is really um, not like any other district I've ever built before in this game. Um, I decided to choose uh, mostly materials that are based on brick and stone and concrete, uh, but mostly something warm. I wanted the whole feeling of the area to be sort of uh, nostalgic, a little bit retro. Uh, I really based it on the North American Rust Belt City, but envisioning it as though it never crumbled, as though they never cleared out sections of the city um, for surface parking lots, um, as though companies didn't move out en masse, as though the economies hadn't crumbled, where all of these beautiful buildings that were created in the heyday of the Rust Belt City uh, are still immaculately preserved and kept up. And the whole downtown core is a solid social area um, full of nooks and crannies that do not go unnoticed, like alleyways, where I will detail to the nines the entirety of Malolatan to make sure that it really just feels just right, according to my imagination, that is. Um, as with every area I build, I'm going to make sure it has all the benches and the trash facilities and the bicycle stands and the drinking fountains. You know me. You know how I roll by this point. If you've been following my videos up to this point, you know my style. You know what I'm going to do with this. But this area just turned out so so close to what I had pictured in my mind that I was very excited about it. And it just kind of kept going. My mood was good. My music was good. The day was good. It all just kind of turned out into a very nice video and a very, very nice city center. Um, it was raining for the majority of the time that I built this, but I really felt it was nice because it's not snow. And uh, it, it was, while I was building this, there was an ice storm outside. Um, so it was really nice to see greenery and rain coming down. Um, for, I think from here on out, there might still be some snow in the Tyler Moore. But for the most part, if I plant a tree, it's not going to be a bear tree or a conifer. It will be a leafy tree. 
the leaves will return. Uh, if I want some greenery or scrub brush, I'm not just going to use pine scrub. I'm putting in some daisies, some beautiful springtime daisies. Thank you to the creator of these. I believe it's Mr. Maisel who made those. Um, so nice to finally have some wildflowers in small scale for the cities. Some advertisements on all of the buildings, and I'd like them mostly to be pretty vintage, kind of like they've been up there for the past 85 years and uh, just miraculously haven't faded with the weather. Um, this whole downtown core is going to be a good density, but still human scaled ish. The skyscrapers are about half the height of those in Isabella and Sophia, and uh, it's just a bit tamer. Everything has a, a warmness to it, a warmth to it, whether it be the color of the brick or just the fact that the building's materials retain the heat of, uh, from, the sun, from the summertime, from the sunshine. Um, and this, uh, in many places in the world, would be considered problematic. This is why um, easier to cool buildings are typically more sought after. However, uh, in the climate of the Tyler Moore, a uh, brick building makes for a wonderful uh, materials. I live in a brick building and I just adore how uh, the temperature regulates itself so nicely so that even when the heating is on the fritz, I will have a window cracked in the middle of winter because the bricks retain the heat from the summertime so well um, that whether it be the earth on the one side of the building or the brick that retains the heat, it just does so nicely deep into the dark winter um, to retain the heat. But also in the hot summertime, the walls are thick enough that the hot sun that bakes the brick uh, isn't going to be immediately radiating the heat into the space. Um, it's easier to cool if you have the top of a window open um, or a vent at the top of the room. The air really just, the hot air flows right out in the summertime and it's easy to keep cool. Um, so long as the sun isn't shining directly in your window, uh, it's it's an easy way to regulate the temperature of your building. So Malolitan's going old school. Uh, it's going to be brick, it's going to be mortar, and it's going to be built to last for generations upon generations upon generations. Again, um, this city did not tear down most of its golden age buildings in favor of parking lots like a lot of Rust Belt cities did. Um, it maintained its buildings and its population. So fortunately for Malolitan, we get a glimpse into what these cities thought they might be in the future, back in the day when they were building these Art Deco gems. Um, this means that we aren't going to have a whole lot of modern buildings. Uh, we do have this big orange steel tower here from the 70s, known as the tower and it is simply known as the tower because the big red brick art deco known as the western union building right across the street from the train station in malolitan sort of the keystone building of downtown um is known as the keep because the way that uh, the skyline is structured and the way that it is built so strong and enduring throughout the ages uh, it's a lot like a castle keep to the people in the community um, it sort of resembles the the strongest fortification in the area uh, where everything sort of all archives and all history is preserved within the culture of that structure um, it is the castle keep of Malolitan. And so the very modern steel building on the other side of downtown, which balances out the the density of the city, is known as the tower. There's also going to be a, an architect's office further downtown, quite close to the keep actually, um, 
because we don't shun modern architecture here. We have nothing against modern styles in Malolatan. It's just that we've already built it up. We don't have the space for anything new because most of it has been so well taken care of over the years. Um, really going happy with all of the advertisements. I know a lot of people really don't like advertisements. I don't like advertisements either, but I do really like quirky cute ones. If you haven't already noticed in the past commercial compilations that I've created for some of the past episodes, there will be more of those coming up in the future as well. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of work down here, a lot of building. I really went nuts with it. Uh, this Fiat gas station service center here, I had envisioned using that here at this precise intersection ever since the asset was released. As soon as I saw the fins, the Art Deco fins on top, I knew it needed to go at this bizarre juncture in the road here uh, where the cargo train line crosses over. But after we're finished detailing this out and making it look quite beautiful for a gas station, uh, we're going to stretch our legs for a bit and go for another walk with. So we'll find somebody around here uh, and hitch a ride with them so we can stretch our legs, get some fresh air, and not just be building the entire time. We've got to have some fun. We don't want Jack to be a dull boy. Um, adding in a variety of different types of cars in here, new, old, um, private, and public uh, lots of parking, some signage, um, and I, I do make sure I make the uh, pavement nice and cracked up so it looks like it's uh, a much older parking lot for a much older building in a much older part of town. Um, I did use the Shell Station sign only because I couldn't find any other um, gas station signs in my collection. The sign might change one day. We'll see. So we're going to go for a walk with Edward Parker, who just parked his beautiful Corvette in the Fiat parking lot. And uh, we'll see where he's headed off to. Hopefully he's going to take us through some of this beautiful downtown Mulholland. Having a bit of trouble crossing the street here. There we go. Oh, he's going down the pedestrian street. No, he's crossing. Okay. Um, this cinema on the left here is for the Tyler Moore Film Festival is held, uh, which venues are going to be expanding all throughout Malolatan. There will be a lot of theaters in downtown Malolatan in the future. Oh, I see. We're hopping on a tram. <gasps> This officially is not a walk with, it is a ride with now, but I, I guess, yes, the judges are telling me they will overlook the tram ride, it does still qualify as a walk with, so long as we are moving along with a person throughout the city. It's a lovely tram ride, uh, it looks like that bridge would have been quite a slog to walk over. It's um, got quite a hill to it and it's quite long, but on the tram, it took no time at all. Nice and easy. It's a good demonstration of how well connected the transit system is here in the Tyler Moore, here on the very first street ever laid out on this map. Isn't that nice? This is sort of ground zero of Isabella that we're traveling through. On a lovely day, it looks like the rain has finally cleared up and the sun came out. Um, there, like I, as I said, there might still be some snow in future, but not a whole lot. And uh, the trees are going to start sprouting their leaves. There's Isabella City Hall, right in the main roundabout. Oh, getting off the tram. Everybody goes. Oh, they're leaving Edward behind. Uh, all right, I guess we should too. He's just gonna hang out in the roundabout and probably transfer on to the Crosslink tram line. So we'll leave him to his business and Isabella 
while we get back to building in Malolatan, because there's still quite a lot to do. It doesn't completely fill out uh, in this episode. There is way more to do before we get to that point, but um, the, the bulk of downtown and the majority of the, the atmosphere has been handled by the end of this episode. Um, I, I did speed this up a great deal, 1000% to be precise. Um, so this is why at times it does kind of look more like a stop motion slideshow rather than a video. Um, there's nothing wrong with your computer settings. Please do not adjust your television set. Um, it, it is really quite all right. It's just sped up so fast so that you can see the, the naissance, the birth of downtown Malolatan, and all these bricks, bricks that are painted, bricks that are not painted. We've got red bricks, we've got brown bricks, we've got auburn bricks and roan bricks. We have yellow bricks and white bricks. We have even chunks of concrete that look like brick. Um, it's, it's very uh, earth-based city, I guess you could say. And again, with more adverts. Hot Car Girl, I'm going to hope was a movie. And I hope it was about a girl in a car that was stolen, rather than a movie about a girl in a car being objectified by other people's gaze. Um, but for the meantime, it makes for a very cute poster. Um, we've got some murals as well, so more modern artwork making its way into the framework of the city. It doesn't have to be all vintage ads. Um, there are some modern parts. Ah, yes, here is the uh, Woodlot Architect Studio and a few other buildings in here. Now, there are a lot of really beautiful landmark buildings in here that don't yet have a purpose, but I have a feeling that one day they will all be identified as headquarters for corporations or not-for-profits or uh, apartment buildings or condo towers or what have you um, with proper names for them. And I'm certainly going to allow you to help me out with that because if you haven't noticed, there are a lot of buildings just here in Malolatan alone. Um, so if you have an idea for a fun business that might belong in Malolatan. Remember, Malolatan is all about education, female empowerment, uh, good things like that. Um, so if there's, you know, uh, an organization or a business that you feel would fit really well in Malolatan, it's just so suitable for this downtown, let me know in the comments below and we might be able to find a building that is offering space for lease and perhaps you know um this organization that you've come up with will have a home in malolatan now to be quickly a little bit more specific i'm not gonna um use nominations for real world organizations and companies this has got to be like a like the faruqi department store over in the Tyler Moore East. Um, something where we can envision a wonderful place um, that really is well suited to this community. These lovely paths I've rediscovered after not having used them for years, and it was a total accident. I thought I had been selecting a different path to use underneath the rail corridor, but I ended up starting something new. Um, I had forgotten these paths. It had been forever since I used them. I think the last time I used them might have been before the pandemic even hit, which at this point is three years ago. So it's really a callback to long ago, and I don't even know why I stopped using them. They're so beautiful. Um, so much greenery and great lush surroundings. So um, 
got rid of the palm trees that were part of it and made made them you know beautiful little hazel trees and uh, some red camellias and now i have a lovely walkway underneath the cargo rail line and all throughout um that end of downtown which I'm trying to think i guess the north end or the northwest end of downtown um has this path system now that is just rife with greenery um, and I'd like to make a lot of little corner plaza areas, just some little hole punches in the building fabric of downtown where we have quiet spaces to pause, um, a few street amenities, some greenery, some benches, and uh, we're about to go for a city tour.
All right, and that about does it for this episode. Um, there will be more Malolitan build-outs in future. Uh, there certainly is a lot more work on the Isabella River Walk to do. More work than just in Phase 1. There's going to be Phase 2 afterwards as well. But until then, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you spending your time with me. It is so much fun. It really is a great privilege for me to share this with you. So thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Join me next time here in the very merry Tyler Moore. Thank you. Bye-bye.